Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Recently, Apple invited me out to New York City to get a more up close and personal look at the new iPhone 10. Now, I was at the announcement for the iPhone 10, but there's tons of media and press trying to get their hands on the device. You really can't get any alone time with it, so it was good to be able to get a little bit more alone time to get more personal with this new phone. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into my impressions of this phone with the time that I had with it. Now, one thing that really stands out about this new phone is that Apple really nailed the design of it. And when I talk about design, I mean, how the phone feels in my hand. Now this phone does have a 5.8 inch Super Retina OLED display, which is bigger than the 5.5 inch display that's on the iPhone 8 Plus, but because there's very little bezel and Apple has made the design of the display to kind of go with the curve of the overall framing of the phone to really make for experience where it's gonna feel great in your hand and also the entire footprint of the phone is gonna make it smaller than the iPhone 8 Plus. So this is one reason why this phone will probably be more of a recommendation to people who don't like carrying the big iPhone 8 Plus, but they still wanna have the benefits of having a bigger display compared to just a regular iPhone 8. Now, I wasn't able to play back any video on this display to see how the HDR10 and Adobe Vision capabilities come into play, but I will say that that notch at the top of the display, I forgot it was even there. I don't have any B-roll footage of it because I didn't notice until I got back in town that I really didn't see it while I was using this phone. Now we'll see how that is when I am watching video back on this phone or using certain applications, but for the most part, I think it may be something where ultimately we'll forget that it's even there and just start to notice the displays as a regular display with a little bit of a receding hairline at the top of it. Now I also do know that Apple is saying that this phone has the strongest glass on any phone that's ever been released. So that's for the display on the front and also the glass that's on the back. Now I like the feel of the glass on the back. It's gonna be a little bit easier to clean, they say, especially for fingerprints, which it still gets a lot of. But um, I'll be interested to see people do drop tests. I ain't gonna do no drop tests with my iPhone 10, but people do drop tests with this phone to see how durable the glass is on the back. Now in my new time with this phone, I really wanted to test out the new gestures that are built into iOS 11 because this phone does not have a home button anymore. I know for a fact it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to it. And just trying out the new multitasking gesture where you swipe up from the bottom of the phone and you have to hold for a little bit before it activates made me a little bit impatient because I'm used to the instant gratification just double tapping on the home button and then having multitasking start right away. And so that's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be using that gesture a lot because they have a new gesture where you can just swipe on the bottom of the display and you can go through your open applications. And because this phone has that A11 processor, everything really screams and it's incredibly fast on it. So I may find myself multitasking just by using that gesture alone. But other things to get used to, like having to swipe down from the top left-hand side of the display to get to your notifications. But if you swipe down from the top right-hand side, you'll get to the control center, are gonna be things that I think everybody, when you first buy and open up this phone, you're gonna have to take a little bit more time and be more patient than I am to get used to these new things. And then we'll see over time how natural these things become with this new software. All right, now it's gonna move back to the hardware of this phone and talk about the cameras. Now, Apple didn't allow me to test out the rear facing cameras on this phone, but I did get a chance to test out the new True Depth camera system on the front. We were able to test out this portrait selfie mode, and the lighting wasn't the best because it was a little bit later on in the day, so we didn't have that much light coming in, but the pictures themselves did look pretty good. I can't say at this point whether this front facing selfie portrait mode is going to be able to beat the likes of the Google Pixel 2, but I will say having the ability to use the different portrait lighting effects that you can do with the rear facing camera and being able to use those with the front facing camera is definitely going to help out when you don't have enough light to kind of spice up your picture a little bit. So overall, I would say they look pretty good, but I really can't wait to get the phone in my hand full time so I can actually test out these selfies a little bit more. But the main reason Apple put this True Depth camera system is for this new revolutionary feature that I think everybody across the world is gonna be using. It's really gonna change the cell phone game, and that is an emojis. Yes and emojis. Now, I'm joking, of course, but this feature actually is pretty fun to use. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be using this on a daily basis, but I can see a lot of kids and teenagers having a lot of fun with it, and from time to time, me pulling this thing up in a text message change and just doing something funny with it, I think it's gonna be cool. I am Batman. Stop, Mr. Freeze. Ah. But seriously, the main reason for this True Depth camera system is the new Face ID function, which is gonna be the primary way that people are gonna be unlocking this new iPhone 10. Now, setup for Face ID was actually easier than Touch ID, to be honest with you. And so all you had to do is just roll your face around for a couple of seconds and then boom, you're set to go. And then now you can just use the raise to weight feature to just hold up your phone. It'll go ahead and automatically activate Face ID, recognize you, and then now you can go ahead and swipe up and get into the operating system. So I wasn't really able to test it out in a dark room or to grow 
my beard out or do anything to try to fool it, but I will do that when this phone officially launches. But just in my brief time, I didn't have any time where I had to actually redo it. It automatically recognized my face every single time and worked. And so over time, we'll see how this plays out, especially as this phone gets to the masses here very, very soon. So like always, guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Make sure you do subscribe to me here on YouTube to get all the notifications when I upload new videos about this iPhone 10 and also everything else in the world of tech. Make sure you do follow me on all my social media networks. Those links are down below. And I wanna thank you for watching this video again, and I will catch you later. Peace.